What's going on guys, Sean is here back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna cut off a mullet and transform it into a nice tapered crop top. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, let's get right to it. So you can see we kicked this thing off with a number four on the sides. We're gonna go ahead and cut all the sides down to a four and blend into the top. That'll give us a nice surface to do our taper into. And we'll tackle the back when we get there. I think I'm gonna leave it for now, but we'll cut it off here in a minute. So we're just getting the side down to a four, then we can come in and do our taper. So starting off with the Slimline Pros, we're gonna do our ball guideline like normal. Go ahead and set the ball guideline, ball it out underneath, and then we can work our way up. Our first step is with the clipper all the way open. We're gonna go with about a half of an inch. Then we'll work the line out underneath. We'll start off with the clipper closed and flick that line up about a third of the way. And then the clipper halfway open, we'll work the second third of that section. And for some reason you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna do my normal steps, but his texture is not gonna allow it to come together perfect. So I'm gonna have to use the lever a little bit and make sure that we get the blend nice and consistent. Our next section will be done with the one guard all the way open. We're gonna go up another half of an inch then we can close the clipper up and immediately attack that bottom line. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and come in with my two guard and start to connect the taper to the sides. Then we'll work our way back down and take all the lines out. So we got a two closed. Now we'll come in with a one and a half and connect to the open one. And then we can keep working our way down and get this taper nice. And you guys can see his hair just a little bit on the thin side. It just doesn't cooperate 100% like I would like. So we're gonna use some lever play and we're just gonna work this out until we're happy with it. So now we're back to the one open. Then we can work down as needed until we're happy with the taper. We're gonna come in with the slim lines, go ahead and give him a nice C cup. You guys can see his hair up at his front hairline. Doesn't grow real solid, so we're just gonna kinda edge up the C cup and we'll edge up the sides and move on to the rest of the haircut. See, I'm gonna go back in with my clipper open and touch up some of this. There was just a slight spot in the middle of that gray area that I just couldn't get to transition. So I'm just gonna work at it until I'm happy with it. Then we can edge up around the ear and we'll go in and tackle the back. Now he already has a pretty high arch above his ear, so I have to be very careful to get this line nice and sharp without giving him a white wall look. If you guys don't know what that is, that's similar to a white wall tire back in the day. So if you get his hairline around his ear way too high, we like to call that white wall. So you guys wanna be careful, but that is where his natural line is. Then we'll take that line down the back of his neck. Now on the back, we'll do the same steps. So I'm gonna take my number four guard closed. You can see I'm just slowly letting that clipper roll up into the length on top. He has a crazy crown in the back, so we wanna leave that length so that it lays in nice. So I'm just gonna let that clipper feed straight up off the parietal ridge and let that hair lay in nice, and then we can go in and taper out the bottom. in and start our taper so I'm gonna pick the point where he has hair all the way across we're gonna go ahead and cut that tail off make my first guideline same as the sides then we'll ball it out underneath and prepare ourselves 
to fade up from there. Our first guideline, as always, will be with the lever all the way open. I'm gonna go up about three quarters of an inch and set that guideline in, and then we can start to work the line out from the bottom. And you guys can see when you got a little guy like this, he is on a booster seat. I have the headrest out of the chair, but it's just hard to fit those clippers in there. So I use one of my smaller clippers. You're not gonna see me use the Babyliss FX on something like this. Uh, but we're going in at the bottom with the clipper all the way closed. Then we'll work the lever halfway open when we go halfway up into that section and we should be done with this section. You can see right where I'm at right now in the middle of his neck, there is a little indention and that is gonna cause a dark spot. So you guys make sure you cut that to color and make sure that it blends in with the rest of the taper. After that, we'll come in with a one guard all the way open. Same size guideline as before, about three quarters of an inch. We're just gonna flick up into the length that's above that. After we get that guideline established, we'll come in with the clipper closed and start to attack that bottom line. And you can see we're taking that one guard closed about two thirds of the way up. And at the bottom of that section where the line is left, we'll use our half guard to take the last line out. And you guys have heard me say before, I like to treat the half guard like a magic eraser. You're not really gonna see it cut. We're just gonna rub it through that dark line and we're gonna slowly see that line go away and connect our two panels together. Then we'll work our way up from there. Now we'll go up and connect this to the rest of the haircut. So now we have a two closed and we're flicking right into that four. You can see we haven't finished this side yet. We're just gonna take that two closed. All that should leave behind is the line you guys can see and that will come out with the one and a half guard. Now you can see just like the half guard, the one and a half is also going to erase that line. That's really all you guys should be using it for. After you get that done, we can work your way back down and make sure that you're happy with the taper. So now we're at the one guard open, we can close it and work our way all the way back down until we're happy with it. Now I'm going to time lapse this side guys, we're going to zoom through it. If you guys want to see his haircut when it was a mullet, it's actually one of my best tutorials I ever did. I recorded it real quick one day, threw it up, and it's actually got over 20,000 views. I was actually kind of shocked by it. So if you guys want to check out that video, click the link up in the card above and you guys can check that out. saturate the top with some water we'll go ahead and cut it you guys can see me shake his crown out right there I want it to lay where it wants to lay so I shook the hair so that it laid down where I wanted to go now we'll go ahead and cut the top so I'm gonna take quite a bit off we're just gonna do a point cut I'm gonna take over an inch off all around and we're gonna add some texture while we're at it so you guys can see I'll just follow my guide look for those short spots I'll come in with the shears at a 45 degree angle that's gonna take length off and also put a deep point cut in while we're at it so I'll work my way all the way down the middle. Now I'll take the sides up and we're gonna make it match. So I'm holding that pretty square. I'm not gonna round that to the round of his head, just slightly, but we'll go in and add a point cut through there. You guys saw a couple of those pieces were a little bit too long, so I just went ahead and took them off square. Now we'll go to the other side and we'll do the same thing from front to back and then we can handle the fringe at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and cut his fringe down slightly here just because it's so long, but we'll really do the fine tuning once we come it down in the front. You guys will see that when we finish the haircut. I just wanna get some of that length out of the way before we get there.
Now I'm gonna come in with my blow dryer. We're gonna get the hair mostly dry so we can come in, tackle the fringe, and see what this finished style is gonna look like. Now we're gonna tackle the front, so we'll comb it all straight down. I'm gonna come in with my trimmers and start to work his hairline straight across in the front. He's looking down a little bit, guys, so it's gonna look like it arches down in the middle, but when he looks up, it will be straight. We cut it a little bit just to see what we had. After that, we're gonna see, we're gonna to wanna to add an accent piece, so we will take a little bit more off, add an accent piece. You guys can check out this finished haircut. Now we're gonna add some matte clay, go ahead and get it textured up and styled. And then we'll come in, like I said, and we're gonna to touch that front hairline just a little bit and you guys can check it out. All right, there's the before guys. You can see the mullet tail. He was ready to get rid of it. Like I said, if you missed that video, make sure you check it out. It was time for a change for my man. Almost 2021, he wanted to switch it up. And there's the finished product. Super clean crop top with an accent piece in the front. That is a low taper on the sides and the back. Hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time.